the soul is something that you have to experience. You know? When you close yourself within, you, know, you start, you close from the outside, you start to dive within. You have a different experience of what is life itself. You see, for people living into the world, they view life in a different way than those who are on the spiritual path. For you, you view life completely different. Because you have a certain understanding that you are that Atma, but yet you are not this body. You are not just this body which is, with time will disappear. You are not just that intellect which keep changing. You are not that mind which keep dictating you. But you must be something else. You know, through the scriptures you see clearly what Bhagavan have said, you know, like that the soul keep moving. Chapter 2 verse 13 of Bhagavad Gita, he said, like when you were small, you reach to youth. Youth to old age. From old age, death come. Like that, when death come, the soul migrate to another body. Those which is wise are not deluded. When we see this verse from the Gita itself, Bhagwan said that we are constantly in changing. And our body is changing. But yet there is one factor which is not changing at all. Which is the great observer of things, which is the Atma. The body may change, the mind may change, the intellect keep changing also. But yet, that fact, which once it is not there, you can be how beautiful you are. You can be how robust you can be, how strong you can be, how egoistic you can be, how pious you can be. But in the absence of that which give life, you will not exist. This body, yes, even when you die, when you, this Atma leaves this body, straight away, your body just become a body. Even people will stop addressing you as who you are. They address your body as a body. Because they have that notion that that which is inside this body is not there anymore. You are not in this body. So then the question still, who is this Atma? No. How many have perceived this Atma? When we look at life itself, life teaches us to bring us closer and closer and rediscovering, rediscovering who we are. No? Because if we just answer the question, what is the Atma? That will not mean anything. But by rediscovering who we are in essence, this is the whole essence of Bhagavad Gita itself. You know? So when you dive, what Bhagavan and Krishna have taught, you know, and you dive deep within, you can rediscover who you are in essence. Like that, it will not just happen, you know, it can give you a description. Yes, the Atma is just a parcel of light. Imagine it's a light inside your body. But that doesn't mean, but the Atma is everywhere. You know, Atma prevailed. That Atma which gives you that energy to act, to talk, to think, to see, to hear, to smell. Without Atma, it's not possible. But yet, that's the fact that we try to forget. We are so engrossed with so many of the delusion of the outside, but we forget the most important thing, what is inside of us. The journey, but I say it, 40 centimeters from here to the Atma, getting to know who you are. You know, that short journey of 40 centimeters normally takes lives and lives. But at the same time, by the grace of God and Guru, you know, that journey becomes small. Everybody have passed through their life. Everybody have gone through experience of life. That's how you have been fashioned. You know? Through the many experience of rediscovering who you are truly. <laughs> 